<sighs> Morning, Triple Nickel Niner here. It's a little chilly out today, but I got my long johns on and I'm outside and I'm, guess what? Cleaning the garage. I know if uh, a lot of you've probably been through my channel or on my channel uh, for any given amount of time or followed me for a while, you could see that I have a lot of garage cleaning videos. And uh, it's true. And uh, mainly because, you know, you can clean, clean, clean sometimes and um, things just tend to just go towards chaos. That's just how things work. Um, with that said, you know, talking about minimalism and, and paring down and, and uh, decluttering, you know, um, you can, there's, there's kind of two ends of the spectrum, you know, you have like complete hoarder to where, you know, it's a hoarding situation. And then you might have someone like just the average, typical everyday, um, person that, you know, that's living life, you know, they're trying to maintain their home like me, you know, we, I have probably more, um, hardware than the typical, you know, 43 year old, uh, probably does. And so, a lot of times what happens is, is, um, it gets into the, it gets into the mindset of, are we hoarding or are we just organized hoarders? And, uh, so I can see that aspect, but then again, I have to admit, you know, there's, there's just times that, let's put it this way. There's things in my life I know that I need to get rid of, um, past, projects, you know, things from other projects. Uh, typically when I do a project, um, I try to do it on a very, very minimum budget, budget, if not free. Um, for example, like right now, um, I've been watching a lot of Zachary Fowler. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Zachary Fowler is, but he survived on the show alone for like 87 days. And um, he won and he has his own YouTube channel now. And he's really into slingshots and he's always doing these awesome trick slingshots and everything. And I really, really want uh, to buy a slingshot. But trying to minimize purchases on Amazon, um, I just can't bring myself to pull the trigger on a slingshot uh, before I attempt to make my own. So um, that is probably a video that you may see uh, in the future um, uh, when they make... Uh, when the slingshot uh, pros make natural slingshots from a tree limb, they call them natties. And uh, they make some very beautiful and almost like furniture. They're very beautiful. But um, so, um, you know, there's, you know, I'm kind of rambling right now a little bit, uh, just trying to get things straight in my head. But what I want to do today is, is um, I want to at least make my garage to where I can walk in it today. I don't know how much uh, I'm going to get done today. It is a Saturday. I've got the full day. I don't really have, any, <clears throat> have anything going on. My son needs to use my shop in here later to do a school project. He has to carve out a miniature canoe um, out of wood for a school history project. So I will help him with that. But before that, I've got to clean up this. I've got some stuff that needs just to go. Um, I've got... Um, pieces of tire wall, tire sidewall that I uh, attempted to use to make um, tire sandals, which I did achieve making tire sandals, but not out of sidewalls. Um, that was a video, that was one of my first videos that I ever really did on this channel. And actually, I just put it on private, um, mainly because it was such a bad video. But um, maybe one day I'll, um, maybe one day we'll do another video on that. But, um, right now um i'll just kind of show you what we're working with again i know it's like a repeat you know it's just like every time you turn around i'm doing something out here trying to clean my area and um i'll just kind of show you what i got going on so here it is i know it just it just got piled it's just piled up and i don't know how some of this is um like that box right there uh, a friend of mine was cleaning out some art supplies and I took that box, but I think I'm probably just going to go ahead and just send it to recycle. It's just, it's just a bunch of foam that I don't need. Um, 
there's those tire side walls. Uh, my friend was also giving me those, um, these um, um, baby food jars, which I will use. I just haven't had time to do it yet. I've got my chainsaw here in the shop. I gotta do some work on it eventually. Um, and I've got that clutter down there, which the tote I might use to get rid of some stuff. I've got some uh, books and stuff that I've already um, gone through this morning as far as like decluttering is concerned. Um, I woke up early this morning and I went through um, a bunch of books inside and I needed a tote to transport them to said thrift store. But yeah, so that tote I might use for some stuff that's actually going. So today is just a um, kind of a just a Saturday, a free day. I've got that that wall over there that I'm going to attempt to put some tools on because um, all the hardware that I was using is now gone to this side. So yeah. So first, let's make a path. Let's make a path of this disaster and and uh, at least get it to where I can walk in here. That would be great. So let's do that. tripod that I bought at the uh, thrift store the other day and I didn't think it had a mount on it and it did it actually had two it's got this one which could work with my phone I'd have to uh, I don't know that's yeah, awfully small I've got one of the bigger uh, iPhones now so let's see, let's get some scissors, maybe cut this off here. <sighs> so I came inside for a second to warm up. My hands were getting so cold outside. The things I wanted to touch on today was, um, I was listening to one of the minimalist podcasts, I think, or I can't remember if it was a minimalist podcast or another video. I will have to do the research. I've, there's a couple of different people um, I've been following on YouTube. Bear with me here. I'll fire up the old computer and I'll see who it is. They were talking about hobbies, and I've been thinking a lot about this. I've been I've been I've been in some deep thought on you know hobbies, but um, what I what I call hobby jumping, uh, going from one hobby to another, and I'm guilty of it. Uh, I'm guilty of it, and uh, th this week I was in just some deep thought, and I thought, you know, why do we, why do we hobby jump? Why do, why do we hobby jump uh, from different hobbies all the time? And then why do we keep trying to do some of the same hobbies that we were doing in the past? And um, the funny part about it is, I was watching this uh, video the other day, and uh, they mentioned um, hobbies. And they were talking about, uh, one of the minimalists, uh, podcasts was talking about, it's okay to get rid of old hobbies. 
and I like having hobbies, but when is when when do we draw the line of like where the hobby starts to consume us to where even after we're not finding joy in the hobby anymore and like we don't have the hobby anymore uh, fulfill us like it used to like now the hobby just seems like it's just a a, a mundane task or now just a chore to keep up with that hobby because you think that hobby like defines you that said you know i uh, you can see one here in the background and you can see one over here hanging on the wall um i i build cigar box guitars and uh at one time i really really enjoyed doing it but now uh there's things about the hobby that frustrate me that i never take the time to actually try to fix um and not to say that I'll ever give up on it because if I, you know, sometimes I, I still want to build one, but there's also an aspect of it to where I just want to not do it anymore. And mainly because I'm just not very good at it. You know, I think there's just, you know, I could get better and don't get me wrong, but in the time that it would take me to get better at it, compared to doing it and then storing the things that I need to do it. You know, is it worth the extra clutter in my home to keep things in the background to where I um, would still want to have it to where I can build one later on? So for example, a lot of cigar boxes that I've bought in the past, and this is one, this is an example of one. This one actually probably would be okay. Um, but I have some cigar boxes that are, they're made very, very thick. They're very, very thick wood and they would only really be the best for a hard body style cigar box guitar to where it would actually take like a standard pickup. Um, you may not get the best sound out of it compared to what you would something a little more thumpier. I know I'm getting into some detail and stuff. Anyway, make a long story short, I've got some cigar boxes that would make really, really nice hard body style cigar box guitars. And I just don't see myself drawn to making one of those. So am I, do I need to keep storing that stuff? I don't think so. So I'm definitely going to go through my cigar box collection. I think maybe today I've got a bunch of parts that I've, that I know I'm not going to use. Uh, they were boxes with no lids. Um, I thought, you know, hey, maybe I can just use one of these and um for a project but i've had them for years and i haven't touched them so um so i think they're gonna go too but so possible life i've been following her on youtube and she's kind of going the she's doing the she's doing kind of the minim minimalism thing and she just mentioned something about hobbies and it just got me thinking that you know she's right you know um Sometimes it's, it, you know, in life, we just need to kind of sit back and reflect, you know, do I really have time to do that hobby? You know, do I really have time to, or do I want to do that hobby so much to where I'm storing the items that I would need later on for that hobby? And, um, I mean, let's face it, you know, typically... You know, we get up in the morning, we, we get dressed, we survive work. You know, we survive our 8, 10, 20, you know, our 8, 10 or 12 hour job. And then we come home and typically for like me and my wife, for example, we crash out. You know, we're done. We're mentally spent. We're mentally exhausted after trying to survive, you know, just the day. And it's not... Um, you know, it's just something that I think that, you know, we, I think all of us, I think need to reflect, you know, we think that we're going to do these awesome hobbies and we're just going to have this like unlimited amount of time and we're just going to win the time lottery and, 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 uh, we're going to be able to do everything that we want to do. And I, it just doesn't work like that. So, um, I not, not, don't get me wrong. You know, I still love to make, I still love to do things. I still love to put things together. I still love, you know, kind of like quote unquote model making. I still like to, um, I still like to build things with my hands, but I think that there's some, some hobbies 
and some items to hobbies that I really, really need to pare down. So that's on the list today. Well, quick update. Um, I went ahead and shut the camera off and just focused on just getting some stuff done. Plus, I've been helping my son with a school project he's got to do. He's got to carve out, well, he has to make like a the, a model of a Egyptian canoe. So we've been trying to carve out this block of wood. It's getting there. But we've been trying to carve out this block of wood uh, for <laughs> several hours now. Just whittling away at it and just, you know, having fun and just, you know, taking our time. But it is getting cold outside. Um, but also, while he's been working on that, I've um, kind of, I'll show you here. I know, bad camera work. Um, I went ahead and I finished this top layer of my new shelf, of my new workbench. And um, I've been um, going through and uh, I've just got some of the cheap um, dollar store duct tape and I've been trying to color code everything so like I think everything that's going to be like hardware like nuts and bolts and nails will be um, this uh, orange color and then I think plumbing uh, plumbing parts will be blue and then I haven't decided um, if I'm going to do like an arts and crafts section for this whole thing or what but um, anyway so I'll kind of give you let me move some stuff around here I'll kind of give you a better look at what this is looking like here. So as you can see, it's not much different than what it was before. It's just a little more organized and now things are starting to get labeled. Um, I've got some down there that I haven't quite um, labeled yet, but now the top shelf is done. So I've moved everything up from the top, from the middle shelf to the top and everything will go down you know, as I, as I move forward with this project. And it's going to take a while because it takes a time to drink milk. <laughs> I can't sit around and drink milk all day, but, um, and I try to, um, grab them before they get tossed in the trash too. So sometimes I get, um, sometimes we'll get milk and maybe they get thrown away and I don't realize it. But, uh, for the most part, I try to, I try to catch them before they get to the trash so I can use them. And then this stuff out here, is all going either to donate, like that shelf right there. I made it, I don't need it, it's gonna go to donate. And all the rest of the stuff is gonna go to recycling. So that is extra clutter that is out of the shop. I know it still looks cluttered, but at least now I can move my workbenches around. And of course we've been working on this thing for a while now. But um, that corner still got some issues. That um, toolbox thing, I made that. Uh, to sit on and work on stuff. And I'm seriously considering about maybe getting rid of it. Um, I don't really need it. Uh, and it's just kind of in the way. So that might be another, something else I get rid of um, another day. But I think maybe while he's working on this, I might go inside and get warm and work on this section.
well, it's getting later in the day and it's getting really cold outside. My son's still working on this project. I'm pretty proud of him. He's out there whittling away, making some man glitter, making some sawdust. Um, just working his tail off on this boat that he's got to make for school. Um, so he's still working on that. So um, I'm going to call it a day on my projects and try to just keep helping him with what he's doing. I've got my... Um, I'll show you what I got going on here. I got my books that I decluttered today and these socks. These socks have been in my house forever. I don't like them. They don't fit right. They're going in the donation pile. I've got some cigar box guitar, cigar box, well, cigar boxes um, that are going um, that don't have lids. And some paper scrap stuff that's just going to go to the trash. So, um, so yeah. So, for decluttering today, that is that. So, I clean off that full shelf. So, my plan is, is to be able to maybe get some of this clutter figured out. And maybe moving some of the books that I don't necessarily use all the time to that to that shelf. I've got a couple cigar boxes down here I think I'm going to get rid of that just don't um, that just don't fit. Um, I mean, nobody needs this many cigar boxes unless you're building them for... But yeah, this one, I mean, it's a really nice box. I think I already stuck the ones I was getting rid of in there. Um, but I may have to get more ruthless. I may have to still declutter. I'm never going to get, you know, never going to get all these boxes made. It's just never going to happen. So, um, but yeah, still, I'm still trying. I'm still at it. I'm, you know, I, this whole section, I'd really like to get a lot of those cigar boxes cleaned out so I can move that toolbox under the bench or just clean that toolbox out and put it in my shop. Um, so, anyway, the wife's coming home with some groceries. I'm going to get ready to call it a day. We're going to have some supper, maybe watch a movie, just hang out. Uh, my son's still working on his project. So this is, you know, kind of a declutter slash work outside day. And that's it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of vlog style. Um... And I know it seems like a lot of the same projects are going on all the time. I'm always constantly cleaning the garage, always trying to declutter. But, um, you know, that's just kind of what what it revolves around uh, a lot around here. Um, so I hope to get rid of this stuff and just keep, keep at it. So hopefully this video inspires you guys. Uh, have a good day. God bless. And we'll see you in the next one. Triple Nickel Niner out.